Welcome everybody and it's Yeza right here. This week I'm back again with another video breaking down Amuda MC since the sandbox. Yes, uh, if you haven't checked out the video from last week, make sure you can check it out. I'll put up a link up in here or there. But if, if it's not up here, you can also check it out on the comment section below uh, or my or the description below. But at the same time, I'm using this week, I'm using uh, Fruit Loops FL20 to uh, make this uh, beat and also all the vocal processing and all the recordings is done inside there. But before we go into detail, make sure you check that out. Roll the intro. Welcome back everybody. Like I mentioned before, if you haven't checked out the video from last week of how I break down Amuda MC since the sandbox uh, beat or behind the beat, make sure you check it out on the link over there or there, or you can check it out on the description section below. I'll put a link down there so you guys can uh, check it out. But this week we are breaking down the vocal processing of how I um, record and mix uh, Amuda MC since the sandbox. So let's jump into the computer. As you can see right here, this is our song. Man, we really came up from the bottom as a team. From the days inside the same box, we kept the same team. Man, I love my brothers to the death, what you need. And I keep on rolling to the days I'm six feet. Cause wherever you go, my brother, I go. Wherever you go. Yeah, that's the whole song. That's the, the hook over there. So first of all, like if you hear the, in the beginning, I had this. So this little vocal here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, as you all know, as you can see, that I'm using Free Loop Studio um, 20. So I've grown up. I've grown up using this, so I'm used to it. And if it works for me, it works, regardless of what um, door you uh, you are using. It doesn't really matter. What matters is your who uses it, pretty much. Uh, but in saying that, I hope you guys can enjoy this video and I hope you guys can, uh, you know, um, take out something from how I do vocals. Um, there's no one way on, on how to do things. Um, there's different ways on how to do it. But this is how I do it. And this, um, every time I record someone, I record it into a different channel. So I use uh, this channel right here. So this is channel 50. I record the vocals in RAW. So if you hear the the... The hook, this is the main the main vocal for the hook. And we really came up from the bottom as in teens. From the days inside the same box, we kept the same team. Yeah. So and we really in saying that, I have it here on number 20. I can rename this Amu Main Box uh, Hook. Yeah. So number 20 over here is where Amu's vocal sits. So record raw, send it to number 20. And to send it off on, on Fruit Loops, you just double click on it and change this number to 20. So on the mixer, it's going to come up in here. There's 20 over here. This is all the effects I put on it on this side right here. This is all the effect I put on this. So first of all, I put, let's listen to the vocal raw first before we process it. And we really came up from the... Man, we really came up from the bottom as in teens. From the days inside the same box, we kept the same team. Man, I love my brothers to the death, what you mean? And I keep on rolling to them days of six feet. Because wherever you go, my brother, I go. Yeah. So that is uh, the main vocal for Amu. So in, in, so in saying that, um, it's, it's very important to record in a place that it's not so echoed. Like, not too much of a reverb or echo or... Yeah, something that just capture the vocal like really clear. So that's what we did. Earlier. Man, we really came up from the bottom as in teens. From the days inside the same box, we kept the same team. So the first vocal uh, process I put in here, I straight away put it on the auto tune. I still use the old one. So it still works for me. I can, whenever I come across a problem that I can't do it in here, then I'll probably upgrade. But this one's worked for me. Uh, this uh, auto tune I've used for so probably like 10 years now. I haven't updated or changed it. It works for me, so it does work. If it works, it works. Man, we really came up from the bottom as in teens. From the days of. 
if you can listen to Amu's vocal, he's he's pretty good singing. So um, he doesn't really need a lot of auto tune unless we want that auto tune effect, that T Pain effect. But it, on this uh, song, we just want it to sound like raw. So we just give it a little bit of uh, retune speed of 14. So it's tuning, but it's not too much. So you can't really hear the, the auto tune. Man, we really came up from the bottom as some teens from the day. The T Pain effect. So if I go full, this is what it's going to sound like. Man, we really came up from the bottom as some teens from the days inside the sandbox. We kept the same team. Man, I love my brothers to the death. What you mean? And I keep on rolling to them days of six feet. Yeah, but when I did it with Amu, uh, we decided not to put too much auto tune on it. Uh, auto tune is still there, but it's you know doing just a little bit. Uh, so the first, oh, the next thing I did was this Maxima. Maximus. Uh, Man, we really came up. Maximus is a stock plugin in Free Loop Studio. Um, a lot of people wanted to use a lot of different plugin, but for me, uh, on this track, um, this works for me. So Maximus is pretty much a limiter, equalizer, um, compressor at the same time in one plugin. So yeah, I put Maximus here. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of tweaking here and there. Um, it's pretty much the compressing and the limiting that I, I do it here. And also after that, I put an EQ. Man, we really came up from the bottom as some teens from the... So the EQ that I use, the first EQ that I, equalizer that I use is, um, is to take away frequency. So I roll off... Uh, the low frequency, so I just put a high pass filter in here. Yeah, I put a high pass filter in here and just roll it off to 100 and around like 130 hertz. So just to take out that rumble sound in the voice. Yeah, so I take it out and also like I roll off some of the, of this frequency. Man, we really came up from the bottom as some teens. From the days inside the sandbox, we kept the same team. And I also roll out some of the high, roll out some of... So these are the frequency that I <clears throat> I think that it's not... It's a, it's a bit standing out. It's, it's a bit standing out for my liking. So yeah, these are the frequency that does it. So I just... What I did was like, I just go into this frequency. Man, we really came up from the bottom as some teens listen from the days that. inside the same... So if you listen to that, it sounds like it's, uh, it's... Yeah, it sounds like it's tinny or like... Yeah, yeah. And then I just take out that frequency. This, this, this is how I find what not to... What to take out. I just... Go roll up the... Just, you know... Just make it more... Uh, just find the frequency. I just... Go maximum on it. Listen to Man, it. Man, we really came... And just sweep it around. Man, we really came up from the bottom as some teens. From the days inside the same box, we kept the same team. Man. Yeah, and from there, whatever I find, I just roll it off. So same goes to everything else. And straight after that, once you've done that, uh, the, the compressor and the limiter that I did on the Maximus is kind of going back. So Maximus take out some of the stuff, like bring out uh, the lower, uh, the softer uh, voice up and bring down the, you know, the loudness of your voice. So it kind of like balance it, but not so much that it's too static. It sounds the same. So it, if you do it too much, it'll bring up the, uh, the hiss and all the, you know, the background noise and everything that is there. So what I did was like compress the top. I didn't really, yeah, I bring up the, 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 the softer voice of, softer part of how Amu sings it, how Amu raps it, but it's, uh, yeah, so I hope, I hope that makes sense, so I'm trying to figure out how to explain this, but I'm just trying to explain it as I go, so I hope you, if, if you don't understand anything, just make sure you drop a comment below, and I can do a specific video on, on doing that, I'm just going to run through the whole thing, but from there, we'll just, uh, we'll just go.
And that's how we're gonna do this thing. We're just gonna go from from how we um, yeah. We'll just go with. I'll, I'll just take us as fast as we can on how we edit this. Uh, do this tutorial or do this behind the vocal or like my vocal processing. So make sure you drop a comment below and ask whatever you want to ask, and I can do a specific video on that. But that is the yeah. That's why I put the mixing mask there. Put this EQ in here to take it out. Take out like bad frequencies that I think it's it's not sounding nice. Um, I put a limiter here because once you do that, it kind of like mess it up a little bit, and then you just put the limiter there to just bring it back again. And from there, I put put um, this is another EQ that I do here. This EQ here is more like how I want it to sound like. It's more like me, uh, I want it to sound like this. The first EQ is like more like you're equalizing everything. So yeah, it's sweet. This is what um, what it sounds good. Now it's now time to fit into the song. So the first EQ is just equalizing everything. Second EQ is fitting it to the song. Probably that's the best way I can explain it. But this is how what it sounds like. Man, we really came up from the bottom as in teens. From the days inside the sandbox, we kept the same team. Man, I love my brothers to the death, what you mean? And I keep on rolling to them. Yeah, so I put that there. <clears throat> also put sound condenser here. Um, so this the, this EQ, this equalizer, is a stock plug-in as well. Uh, this limiter is a stock plug-in as well. Uh, this sound condenser here is a stock plug-in as well. This is more like a, um, this sound good does, uh, what it does, it brings like, it, it makes, it give a little bit of a saturation. It compresses and give it a little bit of a saturation to the vocal. So if you listen without it. Man, we really came up from the bottom as in teens from oh, the days of si Sorry. Listen without the sound good dies, uh? Man, we really came up from the bottom as in teens from the days of so it's, it's, it's like soft and it's sound, sounding like nice. But I want because it's a, you know, it's a rap song, it's a hip hop song. I want it to be a more like a little bit aggressive, but not too much. So that's why I put like the this plugin there. So it's pretty much <clears throat> what it does is just compress it and give it a bit, little bit of a situation. Man, we really came up from the bottom as in teens. From the days inside the sandbox, we kept the same team. Man, I love my brothers to the death. What you mean? And then the next one. Is this plugin? So this is a waves plugin. So this after the sound condenser, and then you know because it brings up everything, like you know how it's like without the sound condenser, it's like it's it's there, but it's a bit low um, volume. So when you put the sound condenser, it compresses the loud part, bring out the lower part together, and 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 give it a, a little bit of a situation. It makes everything a little bit louder. So when it makes everything a little bit louder. I put this EQ here. This this is a Waves plugin. It has like EQ, compressor, limiter, gate, um, yeah, everything. So I just edit in, take a little bit of things here and there. I reckon this EQ uh, from Waves is one of the best EQs. Like it, it just sounds really good in the vocal. But that's why I like this EQ. This the reason why I put this EQ here is because it doesn't have a visual graphics in there. So you know how the river. The, the, when Amu sings, his vocals is like jumping up and down on, on this EQ, on this EQ right here. But on this EQ, I use my ears to tune the, the vocal. Because at the end of the day, no one's looking at like what's peaking and what's not peaking. They're, they're hearing the song. So, so in that way, like, I you know, when you mix, when I mix a song, the last EQ I will put there will be an EQ to just, you know, that final touch to fit the song. So in that way, like I don't look at the visual, I use my ears to tune my ears and I just, so I, I just use these meters here just to make sure it doesn't peak. But you know, sometimes it peaks, but it sounds good. It sounds good. <laughs> it's it's a little bit of a flavor. So it depends on the song as well. So yeah, so just make sure that whatever you do with the song, um, don't mix to what you can see on the equalizer, the visual equalizer. Uh, mixed to how you listen to hear it. So make sure you turn up the volume as high as you can, turn up, down the volume, have a little bit of a five minutes rest every 30 minutes, 45 sec uh, minutes of 
30 to 45 uh, minutes just to give your ear a rest so when you come back it's fresh it's always like clean it's always new so listen back to the tracks Man, we really came up from the bottom as a teens From the days inside the sandbox, we kept the same team Man, I love my brothers to the death, what you mean? And I keep on rolling to them days of six feet Cause wherever you go, my brother, I go Yep, that's that And the last thing that I put in here before the reverb and delay is... Yes, sir This is a free plugin that I've downloaded Like this DSR, I've used it like probably five, six years ago, um, probably more than, than that. There's a free plugin. Um, I would recommend this if you don't have a budget to, to, I downloaded and used this when I didn't have any money at all. I was just learning, so I just used this as something that I can, you know, use. And it was free. So if you don't have, um, if you have any, if, you know, if your budget is limited, make sure you download this one. This is the free one as well. It's all right. It does all work, but only to a certain point. So with this song, it was doing all right. Man, we really came up from the bottom as a teens. From the days inside the same box, we kept the same team. Man, I yeah. So as you can see over here, this is how much DS is work. This is what it does. Yeah, so all of this frequency, the DSR is working on pulling it down. Um, the next thing that I put in here is reverb. Man, we really can. Yeah, a little bit of reverb. Last thing was delay. Man, we really came up. Man, we really came up. Man, we really came up. The reason why I put the delay bef uh, after the reverb is because I try putting the, the delay before it. Uh, it doesn't sound like, for some reason, it didn't really sound nice to me. Like, So that's why I put it after. Because when I put it after, I usually put it before the, the delay. But because when I, when I did that, it, it doesn't sound as nice to me. This is a stock reverb plugin, stock delay plugin. So, because I didn't use any other third-party plugins, so that's why I come across that problem. But when, it, when I put it like this, it works for me. So, like I said, if it works and it sounds good, that's all that we need. Because a lot of people, they don't listen to the song and like, oh, it's wrong because they put this. It doesn't sound good because they put the plugin here and there. Or like, no one really knows it. They only listen to the song. <laughs> Unless we do a tutorial like this and you know you'll know what happens. Like why is it like that? But yeah. At the end of the day, if, if it sounds good, it sounds good. Um if it works, it works. Yeah, just do what you think is it's good to do. But yeah, definitely this is my um how my channel works. And from there I just save this preset. And just copy and paste it like you know i just move it to wherever i want to move it um, copy and paste it to channel 21 23 uh, 22 28 wherever and just tweak whatever i need to tweak to fit so that is that plug uh this is that's the main vocal here man we really came up from the bottom as in teens from the so on the main vocal i use i also put like a uh man we really came up uh, this vocal, so to back up the vocals, it goes together with, with the main vocal. Man, we really came up from the Just to make it a little bit wide. But I didn't make the, the, the main vocal wide because it'll make it sound like it's phasing. So what I did, I we, we re-record the, the vocal again just to have like that effect that is, you know, a lot more people singing it on the, on the hook. Man, we really came up... So what I did from there, I just copy channel 20. Remember, 20, channel 20 is our main vocal. Copy it to tw 21. And I just changed little bits and these pieces here and there. So I just add wider to widen it. So I take off the... What I did, I take off the... You know how, how I, I have like reverb and delay in here? I take out the, the delay because I don't want the the delay to be there on, on the backing vocal, on the backing vocal, because that's wide. But what I want is the reverb to be there. 
but I changed the delay into a wide, um, and just widen it, just make it more stereo. So I think this is a free plugin as well, so you can download it and do as much as you can with it. And everything else is the same. I just changed the EQ, just cut down the, um, yeah, over here I roll it down instead of 120, 130, I think. Uh, this is 240, 50, let's say 250 hertz. I roll it off. So that's why it sounds a little bit more, less spacey. Man, we really came up. Man, we really can. Really but together, can. I don't want it like if I if I don't roll out the the lower frequency of the backing vocal, I just make it sound thicker, like uh not not in in not like more singing, but it's more like bassy. It just more makes the vocal sounds more bassy. Man, we really came up from the bottom, man. Same thing with the and things like that. Oh. Everything the same. For you go, my brother, I go. Yeah, so from there, this is what the vocals sound like for the hook. And we really came up from the bottom. Man, we really came up from the bottom as a team. From the days inside the same box, we kept the same team. Man, I love my brothers to the death, what you mean? And I keep on rolling to them days I'm six feet. Cause wherever you go, my brother, I go. Wherever you go. Cause wherever you show, my brother, I show Wherever you show Hey, man, I love my brothers that be stuck inside the trenches Told them I'ma show out for them days who on the benches Yeah, so in, in saying that, what I did with the red vocal, I usually uh, So, yeah So I put the, uh, the vocals there, I just copy the main from number 20, put it on number 23 so this is channel 23 over here. It goes into the to the rap part. It's just because the rap part is different, it's not singing. So, you know, I put a little bit of different EQ in it. Um, so it sounds good. So, uh, sounds uh, the same as the, the main vocal for the, for the hook. It's just because the reason why I did that, because singing has a, has a different... Um, gives a different dynamic to your voice or different sounding or like um, to your voice but if you rap it's it's a whole you know when you rap it's a whole different thing altogether so it's not singing so it sometimes i i found that you know if you rap your voice is a little bit uh thicker or a little bit bassy and when you sing your voice is a little bit it's not as bassy so that's why i eq this different and that's why i give it to Number 23, and also uh, on channel 23, I can turn it up and down. Up and down because, uh, yeah, rapping can be a little bit stronger and, you know, your volume is higher. With singing, it might not be, but it depends on who's who's singing and who's doing that. But with Amu, like I said, man, he's really talented. He's a, I, I'm blessed to work with him on this track. I've learned a lot from him. Like I said, <laughs> um, we did this song in one day. And we just record bits and pieces, but Amu's uh, verse and you know, uh, hook, he did it all together. I mean, he is really fast in, in, in writing and he's one of the best, um, you know, with his pen work, man, he's, he's on. And just the ideas that we put together. Um, and it was easy too because, yeah, yes, I, I produce a song and everything like that, but also Amu um, also knows how he wants his vocals to sound like. Knows how he wants his verses, his uh, uh, the hook to sound like, and from there we'll just uh, bounce ideas off each other, just make the whole song work. Yeah, so I think we got together around ten at night. We didn't finish the song until like five in the morning, I think, or six. Uh, we came out of the studio; and it was already daytime, so <laughs> it was a good uh, session. You can tell it by like just how you know you just get you know take it over by you know enjoying doing music and everything like that. But yeah, I think that is everything, everybody. And if you want to know more about like what I do, and if you want to know more about the vocal processing, if you want me to go into detail about anything at all, just make sure you uh, uh, comment below and just drop me, like just ask me a question. I'm happy to go through whatever. Like I said, we're just rushing through this because um, I don't want uh, this video to be too long. But you, while I explain this, you'll probably get the idea of how I do it. And I hope that it makes sense to you. But make sure 
go and subscribe to my channel, share my channel, like my channel, and make sure you invite people to subscribe too. And I hope this uh, tutorial uh, gives you something to help you with your production, to help you if you're starting up. Like I said, man, like I'm here to give you all everything. There's no secret, there's nothing. Um, it's all love, it depends on you. Just make sure you have your own style and make sure you, you know, break the boxes of how things work because at the end of the day, it's you that makes the music. As if you like it, if you like it, if you love it, that's all that matters. Everybody else can just join in. But thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. We'll catch up on the next video. See ya.